you wanna make real money publishing low content books on Amazon KDP, there's just no way around the research phase. Usually, if you wing it, you're gonna end up with a book that flops. Your goal should be to create a book that real people are actively searching for so that you can almost guarantee that your book will generate sales. And you do that by validating your book idea before you spend so much as a minute actually creating the book. This is my four-step process for validating your book idea so that you can make sure it winds up in somebody's shopping cart instead of at the bottom of Amazon's algorithm. Now, if low content publishing is brand new to you and you wanna find out how you can generate passive income, creating and selling journals and planners and other types of low content books on KDP, download my free guide down in the description below, three steps to publishing your first low content book in less than a day. Now, firstly, if you just need some guidance on how to come up with ideas to begin with, you can check out this video right here. So before we get going on validating your idea, you're gonna come up with a list of keywords that relate to that initial idea. So a keyword is just a word or a phrase that a real shopper would type into Amazon's search bar when they're looking for a book like yours. So for example, if your idea is daily planner, uh, just think about some of the other words that people might use to try and find a daily planner when searching. So that could be weekly planner, monthly planner, appointment book, agenda. Those are all different ways of basically saying daily planner. So whatever your idea is, try to come up with a bunch of different keywords. Then take your first keyword and you're gonna ask yourself a series of questions. Firstly, you wanna find out if customers are actively searching for this keyword. And the way you do that is just to simply type your keyword into the search bar and you're gonna see a drop down menu appear. If that keyword shows up in the search bar, you know that a real person has actually typed in that keyword. So that's a good sign. So the next question you wanna ask yourself is, do similar books already exist? So type in that idea, hit return, and then look at that first page of results. If you get a page of results that are relevant to that initial keyword, then yes, those similar books exist. So that could be some validation that there's a market there if other people are already doing it. Now, if you don't see any similar books, what you might have come across is an untapped niche. If you've already shown that people are searching for that keyword, and you know that because you've seen it in the drop-down menu, but then there aren't any relevant books that show up, that might mean that there's a little bit of a gap in the market that you can get in on. Next, you wanna find out if it's a paying market. So start going into each one of those books on that first page of results, and just check out if it's got a bestsellers ranking. If it has a bestsellers ranking at all, that means that the book has made at least one sale. Now, I like to find books that have bestsellers ranking of around 100,000 or less. That means that those books are selling pretty regularly. If they've got up to about 250,000, that's okay too. If all the books have like a million plus as a bestsellers rank, that means those books really aren't selling that well. So the closer to number one means the hotter the niche, the more books are selling, but also when the numbers start getting closer to one, that also means it's more of a competitive niche. So it's a little bit of a balancing act there. But the main thing you're assessing at this point is, is it a paying market? If books are selling, then yes, a paying market does exist. Next question is how competitive is that market? And there are a couple of ways you're going to assess that. First is to just look at the results, look at the quality of the books. Are they really high quality or is it a bunch of crap? If all of those books on that first page have really striking designs, they look really professionally designed, that's gonna be a little bit more competitive. If some of the books, you know, if a couple of them look good and a few of them don't look that great or some of them are just total crap, then that's going to be a little bit less competitive of a market. You also wanna look at the reviews. If every single book on that first page has, you know, 20, 30 plus five-star reviews, that's gonna be pretty competitive. If maybe a couple of the books have some good reviews, a couple of them have poor reviews, some of them have no reviews at all, that's going to be a lot less competitive. You also wanna think about if there's a way for you to actually stand out amongst that competition. So take a look at all of those book covers on that first page of results and think about ways that you can stand out from what's already on sale. Now, once you've validated that first keyword, you can kind of determine if it's gonna be lower or higher competition, decide if you wanna keep it or scrap it, and then you're just gonna choose that second keyword on your list, and you're gonna ask all those questions all over again. So do this for every single one of those keywords that you've generated to determine which ones are going to be lower competition or higher competition. If a few of them are kind of lower to moderate competition, then you can green light your idea. But if you go down every single one of those keywords and it all looks too competitive, then it's probably a good idea to scrap that idea and move on to something else. Now, there are some available tools that can help you sort of streamline this entire process. There are a few free ones. Self-Publishing Titans has a couple of really great Chrome extensions that can help you with this process. There's AMZ Suggestion Expander, DS Amazon Quick View. Those are all the free tools that are just gonna help give you some further information that you're not gonna be able to get manually and just kind of help you save some time. I really love using Publisher Rocket. This is a paid tool, but it just gives you so much information. You type in your main idea, it's gonna show you a full list of related keywords. 
It's gonna show you the average monthly earnings for each of these keywords. And it's also gonna show you a bunch of really great category information. And of course, categories can really help in your book's discoverability as well. And of course, discovery is gonna help push your book out in front of more shoppers' eyeballs. And that is potentially going to lead to further sales. So make sure you validate every single one of your book ideas before you just jump into its creation, which I know is the fun part, but again, you just can't get around the research portion of this process. That is what's gonna help give your book discoverability in the Amazon store and lead to those sales. For more information on low content publishing, you can check out these videos here. And don't forget to download my free guide, Three Steps to Publishing Your First Low Content Book in Less Than a Day, down in the description below. Also a link to my free Facebook group, Low Content Profits, which you can join below as well. Please like, share, subscribe to this channel, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.